Hey guys, how's it going? It's Billy here, uh, coming at you again with another, another uh, contest entry. Things have just been super crazy. Everybody seems to be having contests. Uh, first off, I have to apologize. I missed a couple contests. Um, uh, Andy, Cloudy Milder, uh, and uh, uh, Captain Handlebar, uh, Rich. Uh, guys, I apologize for missing those. I It was never my intention um, to miss those. I just totally missed out man work uh work was crazy and there was just no way i could i could make it happen um i still want to do everything i can to support your channels and i appreciate you guys supporting my channel um but uh, i apologize for missing that uh i uploaded a couple three uh three contests already today this is my fourth contest i'm trying to get filmed today so i'm gonna have to do this real quick because uh time is running out um but i definitely wanted to show my support for brother ron Haggerty, uh, metal ron um, Ron is having his uh, 300 uh, subs uh, contest and um, kind of like Andy's, uh, Cloudy Milder, uh, he tied in the, the number three uh, with, uh, with the contest. Um, and it's, uh, it's uh, biblical references. First, I have, to, uh, I have to preference this with I'm not an overly religious person, um, I believe, um, but uh, I, I definitely am not uh, well versed um, you know just to, to put it bluntly uh, but I will do my best and I and I hope it works um, anyway I just wanted to show my support for for Ron such a great guy a great channel um, and, and I, if you don't know Ron please check him out his uh, information is in the description box below uh, first first and foremost here uh, there were th we Ron broke it down into three different subcategories, so threes and threes and threes, threes all over the place, which happens to be my favorite number, by the way. Um, Thirty-three was my baseball number. Sixty-six was my football number. So it's all variations of threes, uh, which is crazy. And my son was born in '99. A lot, lot of different things in the uh, number three, which you can look into that any any way you want to, but. Uh, Anyhow, Ron broke this down into three different categories, three different subcategories. So the first was uh, name, uh, show an album where uh, the band, um, the album title is a biblical reference. So uh, I'm just going to jump right in here. Uh, he said we didn't have to go in depth or anything, which is great because I, I'm not going to be able to go into depth on some of these. Uh, but first and foremost, Black Sabbath. Uh, Y'all know Sabbath. Uh, first um, debut album by Black Sabbath here so Sabbath next Nazareth hair of the dog and third Judas Judas Priest screaming for vengeance so there are my three some of these uh, Ron I'm going to have uh, just just three on um and like i said since i'm not going into great detail i picked a, a few extra if that uh if that is okay um the second part was uh album titles uh, show three uh album titles with uh biblical references and so just jumping right in here uh, ozzy osbourne speak of the devil um obviously the devil um, don't know that biblical reference there Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. This could have went as a uh, album title or a song title, which is actually the third part of Ron's uh, contest. So um, I'm going to use it as a uh, album title here. Number of the Beast, fantastic album. And then um, Angel, which could have went for uh, the uh, band name as well. Angel, you know, mentioned, uh, referenced a whole lot all throughout the Bible. Um, angel uh, as it is in heaven that's uh, that's what I decided to uh, to go with album title as it is in heaven and then uh, lastly here like I said I had more than three on some of these this one I had uh, uh, four or five um, Eric Church sinners like me this could have went for any of the three categories because church you know I mean you learn about the Bible in church uh, so so Eric Church uh, sinners like me album title or the song Sinners Like Me. Fantastic. Love me some Eric Church. 
then uh, let's move on to the uh, final uh, final category here, which would be uh, name three songs or show three songs uh, with biblical references. And you guys know I'm going to jump right in here uh, with one of my favorites, Danzig. Uh, this one will be uh, Twist of Cain, uh, obviously referring to uh, Cain and Abel, uh, if you're a little bit familiar with uh, some of you may or may not be like I said I'm not extremely well versed but uh, yeah I know the story of Cain and Abel um, so Cain ended up uh, committing murder you know which is the ultimate sin uh, which could have been another one I could have used Ozzy's ultimate sin but uh, Cain uh, killing his brother twist of Cain uh, second I could have used a bunch on this one, but uh, for Metallica's Ride the Lightning, I, I chose um, uh, Creeping Death. Um, killer song. Great, fantastic song. <clears throat> With biblical references throughout. Um, this one is just kind of funny. Um, Johnny Paycheck. The only hell my mama ever raised. How about that? Um, hey. The, the, it's the truth, and John too, and a chapter in the uh, a chapter in the Bible. So John and hell, the only hell my mama ever raised. One more here, back to Eric Church, uh, Chief. There's a song on here called uh, "Like Jesus Does." Uh, basically, it, it says, um, you know, through thick and thin, uh, she loved him like Jesus does, which is uh, you know unconditionally. There's uh, there's my song. So th there's my entries. I'm, I have a one one little uh, freaky thing I want to show here. I actually picked this up at at Goodwill just a little while ago, and I was th thumbing through the uh, through the the rack there and stumbled across this. And the artwork just kind of caught me uh, by surprise and, and blew me away from uh, from the get go. And apparently this is a pretty rare, uh, pretty valuable sought after album. I know nothing about it, but. Uh, I think this fits into what you're looking for, Ron. This is the Electric Lucifer. Check that out. And this is an original pressing from like 76. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see it on the back here anywhere. But it's, it, it, I believe it's from the 70s. Uh, I, I just looked it up on, on Discogs and uh, was blown away by the price they're asking for this thing. But uh, I don't know if it's an instrumental... A prog rock I have no idea what it is but check out the artwork there kind of cool so Ron I wanted to support your channel my man um, I hope those uh, worked for you uh, I wish I could have gone into greater detail but uh, like I said time didn't allow for me to really dig in and, and get all the stories and things but that's why I wanted to show whatever I could but uh, dig your channel brother congrats on the subs and can't wait to see where you go from here. Take care, buddy. Peace.